This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hi there, I'm Mark Charter. Applications are now open for businesses required to close during the pandemic. Local First Arizona Foundation is launching the Arizona Small Business Rent and Mortgage Relief Grant Program. The group says grants will provide up to two months of rent or mortgage payments. Owners of gyms, bars, clubs, movie theaters and water parks are also able to apply. You can do so at localfirstaz.com. Rental assistance dollars from the Federal CARES Act are finally starting to flow to people who are months behind in rent. In an update yesterday, some counties said this is money for applications accepted back in early June. But while this is good news, some programs are paying out more quickly than the Arizona Department of Housing program, which started accepting applications on March 30th. Officials in Maricopa County say applications have been turned over to them for processing now that the state has streamlined the process. Tucson Unified will host a virtual town hall this afternoon to talk about what's next for the 2020 school year. District leaders will answer questions about technology, curriculum, equity and more. The event will be live streamed on the district's website and Facebook page beginning at 530. TUSD says families can submit their questions through Facebook comments once the event has started. Eight people are now in quarantine and Tolson Elementary School is closed for the next two weeks. This comes after TUSD says two staff members tested positive for COVID-19. Officials say those staffers were in contact with six other people. We're also told no students have been on campus. Tucson Fire is welcoming back two of its own. Elliot Anderson and Esteban Rodriguez are two wildland firefighters who made it back safely from helping out crews in California. They were assigned to different fires in the southern part of that state. Increasing moisture will finally bring a daily chance for rain back into the forecast. Tucson is going to see a 10 to 20% chance for isolated afternoon and evening storms today through the weekend. Saturday looking to be the best day for showers across southeast Arizona. Highs will moderate slightly, but staying above average.